This is the heart of Melbourne, the second largest of Australia's cities. It's a busy, thriving metropolis of some three million people. Melbourne is situated on Australia's southeastern coast in one of the country's most productive and picturesque regions. It offers a huge variety of recreational and sporting activities. You can go skiing in the winter, play squash, or go skating, swimming in the summer, sailing, rowing, or running. In fact, just about any activity you care to choose can be found within easy reach of the city. Melbourne is a truly cosmopolitan city, having one of the largest migrant populations in the world. These people have made a major contribution to the character of the city and to the quality of life. It's a major centre of industry and commerce. A large number of the country's biggest corporations and businesses have their headquarters in Melbourne. And many of the world's leading banks and financial institutions have offices here. Melbourne is in many ways the cultural heart of Australia, with many fine galleries, theatres and concert halls that reflect the population's interest in the arts. Melbourne is known as the Garden City, and it's easy to see why. Large areas have been set aside for public gardens, parks, and playing fields. The streets are wide and tree-lined, reflecting the care and concern that has gone into the city's planning. Melbourne is also a centre of education. For those who seek the best in tertiary education, there are three universities, several colleges of advanced education, and many colleges of technical and further education. One of these universities is Monash University, which lies in the suburban Greenbelt, about 15 kilometres southeast of the city. Since its inception 25 years ago, Monash University has grown to become one of Australia's most important centres of research and learning. Its courses are recognised throughout the world for their high level of academic achievement and in a number of areas, the best known being that of in vitro fertilisation, Monash leads the world in research and development. The university consists of seven faculties. Arts, Education, Engineering, Law, Medicine, science and economics and politics. Each faculty is housed in its own self-contained complex equipped with the most modern and up-to-date research facilities and teaching aids. Monash has about 13,000 students, a large proportion of whom come from outside Australia, particularly from the Southeast Asian region where the university's reputation has been enhanced by the overwhelming success of these students when they return to their own countries. As far as I've, I'm concerned, I've had the opportunity to uh, work with accounting firms over my summer vacations and they have indicated that, uh, you know, if the moment I qualify, I should get a job quite easily. So I suppose as far as uh, my f the future prospects are concerned, it has been a very worthwhile time at Monash indeed. Monash has just over 3,000 staff in total. 2,000 being involved directly in teaching and research, with the remaining staff undertaking the other widespread activities that university management involves. In addition to the seven faculties, the campus also includes a large number of services and facilities that cater for the needs of both students and staff. The university union is housed in a modern complex at the center of the campus. It is the focus of non-academic life at the university. Some of the services and facilities operated by the union include catering, dry cleaning agency, lost property office, arts and craft center, meeting and music rooms, the union theater, a student radio station. You're listening to Student Radio, Monash University 3MU, and the time's 10 past nine and the John Medley Library, where students can take a break from the rigours of study to do some light reading or listen to their favourite piece of music. The Union also houses the Monash Bookshop, the largest bookshop in suburban Melbourne, a post office, two banks, a pharmacy, men's and women's hairdressers, student travel office, credit union, music and video store, student counselling service, 
campus chaplains, a student careers and appointment service, and a modern medical clinic. University students invariably have healthy appetites, and the university caters for them with almost a dozen separate cafeterias and cafes, including a whole food restaurant, serving a wide range of inexpensive meals. The high proportion of Asian students has led to many of the eateries offering special Asian menus alongside of their more traditional Australian fare. One of the most visually striking features of the university is the stunning non-denominational religious centre. The building is a meeting place for the many religious societies on campus, with vestries set aside for the Buddhist, Islamic and Jewish societies. Cultural pursuits are also well catered for. The Alexander Theatre provides comprehensive facilities for the staging of student and professional live theatre performances, as well as film screenings. The Robert Blackwood Hall, with its distinctive stained glass window, designed by renowned Australian artist Leonard French, is considered by many to have the finest acoustics of any venue in the country and is used for many different types of musical performances as well as university activities such as graduation ceremonies. The university campus also includes a large library complex with four major branches. There are more than 1.3 million titles on catalogue covering all areas of study taken at the university. All the libraries have quiet reading lounges and private study rooms exclusively for the use of the students. A wise man once said, a healthy mind needs a healthy body. And to ensure this, the university has a large and modern sporting complex. It features an indoor swimming pool, saunas and spas, gymnasium, indoor recreation halls for basketball, volleyball and badminton squash courts and a sports medicine clinic. In addition, the sports complex is surrounded by outdoor playing fields for football, soccer and hockey, as well as many all-weather tennis courts. The university offers low-cost accommodation to students who wish to live on campus. The five halls of residence make up one of the largest accommodation complexes in the Southern Hemisphere and can house approximately 1,000 people. The halls are secular residential colleges for both men and women. Each hall is supervised by a warden who is appointed by the University Council. As well as undergraduates, the halls are also home for some of the university's staff tutors and postgraduate students who provide informal tutorial assistance to resident undergraduates. All meals are available in the hall's dining rooms on a cash basis. They are subsidized from the accommodation fees and hence provide quality meals at exceptionally cheap prices. Again, special Asian menus are available every day. The halls also provide facilities for conferences, wedding receptions, dinner dances and other functions. The cost of residing in the halls of residence during 1986 was $48.73 per week or about $1,500 Australian for the nine-month academic year. The Faculty of Economics and Politics at Monash University has long been recognized worldwide as a major teaching and research center for economics and management studies. Its staff of professors and lecturers have nearly all completed degrees or undertaken postgraduate studies overseas at such institutions as Oxford, Chicago and Harvard. I think the staff here at Monash are generally very helpful. They are very approachable and that applies not only to the tutors, but to the lecturers and the professors as well. The permanent academic staff is supported by a large number of tutors, most of whom have masters or PhD degrees or are currently completing these qualifications. The dean of the faculty is Professor W.A. Sinclair. The areas of study offered include accounting and finance, administrative studies, econometrics and operations research, economic history and economics and politics. The faculty also incorporates the Centre of Policy Studies, which has developed into a major consultative body in the field of government policy, particularly in matters of taxation. The faculty offers a full range of courses, including a Bachelor of Economics, Postgraduate Diploma in Operations Research, Master of Economics, Master of Business Administration and Doctor of Philosophy. 
Most of these degrees are available in the areas of study previously mentioned. Graduates of the university receive professional accreditation in their respective areas. That is, graduates in accounting are eligible for membership of both the Australian Society of Accountants and the Institute of Chartered Accountants, and also receive substantial exemptions for membership in the Institute of Chartered Secretaries and Administrators, Bankers Institution and so on. With nearly 2,500 students enrolled for its courses, the Faculty of Economics and Politics is one of the largest of its kind in Australia. The basic reason why I suppose why I came to Monash was uh, the, the fact that Monash had a good reputation in Malaysia, particularly in what I wanted to do in the field of accounting itself. And uh, that was the main motivation, I suppose, which led me to apply to Monash. From what I've heard about this, if you want to do economics in Australia, it's between ANU and Monash. The department's resources include a large computer facility, utilising powerful digital VAX computers. These are readily accessible to all students through individual remote terminals situated in the faculty's computer laboratory, and are an invaluable aid in research and statistical evaluation. The faculty has a quota of up to 20% of its intake for the Bachelor of Economics and Diploma of Operations research courses and 10% for the MBA degrees for overseas students. A very wide range of careers is available to graduates with a Bachelor of Economics degree, and the demand for the faculty's graduates in the foreseeable future appears to be virtually insatiable. Middle-level managers are finding that an MBA degree is increasingly important for advancement to senior management. I guess the, the reason why I undertook the MBA was the sorts of uh, jobs that I was moving into involve more general management areas and therefore I believe that uh, an MBA course would equip me better with the sorts of skills I required. As a result of the substantial demand from overseas students, the faculty has received permission to offer places in its Bachelor of Economics degree, Diploma in Operations Research and Master of Business Administration on a full fee paying basis. This is in addition to the number of students who may be admitted on a subsidised basis. Students who apply for a full fee place are also eligible for admission as subsidised students. The selection of each group will be based on academic merit, the better qualified students being accepted as subsidised students. Overseas students accepted into a course on a full fee basis will be subject to the same regulations, teaching methods and criteria as other students enrolled in the course. The faculty's academic standards are high and students are expected to maintain these standards, which places the university's economics and accounting graduates amongst the most sought after in the world. At the time of producing this film, the Faculty of Engineering had decided to seek approval to take up to 20 full fee paying overseas students in 1987 on a similar basis to that of the economics and politics faculty. The degree offered is the Bachelor of Engineering, in which students may specialize in one of several branches, civil, mechanical, materials, chemical, electrical, and computer systems engineering. The fee is anticipated to be in the vicinity of $17,000 per annum. Further information on the courses available from the Faculty of Economics and Politics at Monash University can be obtained by writing to the Assistant Registrar, Faculty of Economics and Politics, and additional information on courses available in the Faculty of Engineering can be obtained by writing to the Assistant Registrar, Faculty of Engineering. The address of Monash University is Wellington Road, Clayton, Victoria, 3168, Australia. Application forms for overseas students for a place on a subsidised basis for undergraduate courses, including Bachelor of Economics and Bachelor of Engineering, may be obtained from the Australian Overseas Student Office, Post Office Box 25, Woden, ACT 2606, Australia.